Hello and welcome back to cut We did it. We did. We took out an, an entire army of Pewtis Templar. And only exploded a few things. You got the best things, though. Honestly, very tempted to tell Was you to there just use those. A chance that some of them have credits, though. Yeah, there was definitely a chance. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. There, there was a chance for sure. They might still be, maybe maybe the 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 two guys I exploded right at the start. Maybe they. Your dude is pretty good at picking up, um, like that kind of thing. So I don't. I don't. I haven't think... explored down here though. Look. There's a quillipede. What's that thing? That is a uh, core process. Oh. What? That is a gentling mask. Don't wear that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just a bad thing. Not sure why uh, they exist. Not sure what their purpose is. Not sure what their deep lore is either. Maybe you want to let me know in the comments. Yeah, we're heading uh, 20 strata deep into the asphalt mines. A pretty ambitious endeavor. I'm really hoping that we don't die to any... Like, I'm going to be super quick to tell you to flee for your life if anything is, um, you know, spicy in any regard. Because after after taking out those Pewtis Templar, like, we, we, we want to canonize this for sure. Always leave. Always leave. Always be leaving. That's Don't what the stop. That's what the trees say. Mm, they had some stuff, but I, none of them I talked to apparently the trees, was worth you know? picking up. Good for you. Because they don't listen to me. Ring my owl. No. No. Talk to what is it? Right. I talk to the breeze, but uh, it doesn't listen. Or no, they, it doesn't hear me. That's that's the next line. I can remember this very obscure song lyrics that basically no one will know. In my commenters, hey, there's a corpse. That's good. There's also some ingredient to our north. Could be good. Could be interesting. I'm excited for that. Whatever that is. I exploded. No. No, to pick up the ingredient. Oh, that was holy shit. I think I need a doing great. You're no. doing great, bud. All right, all right. Crabs. Yeah. You've got them. I'm interested in what that corpse is. Corpses are usually filled with goodies with some rare exceptions bullets pick up the bullets I guess we want more bullets oh goody acid so what is what is that first of all you know yeah I didn't realize we haven't learned how to make lead slugs Oh, shade oil. That's nice. I'll take that. We could learn how to make lead slugs, and then you can basically make a hundred of them for nothing. And we'll never run out of bullets, ever. I mean, we could, I guess. <laughs> you... No. No. <laughs> That was an accident. Well, don't at me. What is the corpse? I must know. What is it? Let's uh, go find out. Walks around it at a wide berth. The solar cell can't have it all. Weird artifact. We gained some kind of weird... Oh, there's more. Ancient bones. More good stuff. 
Don't. I, I'm gonna eat them. No. I'm gonna eat them. No. Data okay. disk is nice. Did you take it all? I did not mean to, but yes, I did. Don't think you picked up the bones, which is nice. I didn't. Everybody done crabbing about? Wow. It's pretty good. Nope. Get, get out. Get. Oh, ah. no. Um, yeah, that was a good response. I don't like them. No, they're bad. Oh no, I sense... Give me a second. I will, I will be muted for a moment. Mm-hmm. Crabs. Crabs. Listen, crabs. Get. Thank you. My word. Alright, picking a bullet, swandering one. Oh, piggy! Couple of fire pigs, no big deal. They do make annoying friggin' smoke, though. Alright, doesn't look like anything else good. Just bullets. And some delicious ancient bones. Well, let's... Alright. There we go. I can make bullets now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Butchering's off, so no good crab meat. All right. Next. All right. Crabs, gorillas, Gar centipedes. The fire garbage pigs. has done done its business with my ears. Lots of uh, lots of. I mean, this is this is all par for the course for our asphalt mines. I have heard that there is a big time enemy boss at the very base of the uh, asphalt mines, but I have never seen it myself. We will not be seeing it because as you'll see um, around strata 20, things get a little bit um, untenable. Do you have jump or did you just have juke? I have juke. I believe I could have jump. Have jump. I could have jump, and I've debated jump. Uh, there's a good reason to have jump, specifically in um, asphalt mine. No, I mean I, I wasn't just. All right. Well. Okay. Might as well. Oh, okay. I've never wow. taken jump. You can only jump one tile. Wow! There's an animation. Wow. That's wow. amazing. Wow. Crab, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't even care about you anymore, Crab. Yeah. I'm too... I'm too big now. Too big. Dies to Crab. Remember There's a gorilla. Remember He's doing fine. Remember when we died to Crabs? Vaguely? Yeah. I do apparently still care about keys. Well, I mean, being on fire is really not a big deal. It's kind of annoying wow, that they don't, die? they don't die on one hit from the sniper rifle. We Ow. might at some point want to make a couple stasis grenades and also freeze grenades. Mm. Oh, hey, free tonic. What is it? It was a salve. I mean, that's nice. That's good. <laughs> we, we love that. We love salve. All right. So you want? No. Nope. Here yep. we go. We want 
couple freeze grenades, say like three, and then a uh, couple of, um, yeah, we can make Mark twos. There's, they're really actually cheaper in some ways. And uh, we want a couple of stasis grenades. Did I, did we learn that? Yeah, we, okay. Yeah, it's kind of cheap, but, or sorry, expensive, but yeah, make two of those. I actually, I'm kind of, kind of wondering if a spiral borer wouldn't be a good idea at some point for asphalt mines. If you want. Does it go all the way down to the, like, as far as it can go? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we can do it. We've got the parts. It would cut out a lot of time. We can always come back and loot. But there's a there's a few moments where the spiral borer would actually be like really nice. Let's do it. I make one. Yeah, make one. You can do it How right do here you, if you where want. Where do you? All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute. Pop 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 pop. Nice. The metal satchel opens, folds itself inside out, and transforms into a contraption set with pinions and drills. Heck yeah. Double stairs. Oh my god, across the sky. What does it mean? What does it mean, Galen? Oh, nice. You killed him. I sure did. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. We leave. Mm -hmm. We continue to leave. Mm -hmm. Making minor notes of some of these floors that might be worth coming back to. Did we reuse up all of our explosive? No, I, mean, I was stuck, so I couldn't equip. Uh... And continue, apparently, to be stuck. Apparently, this stair is right on some tar. I'm just going to go. Yeah, just go. Go for it. Grabs. We're okay with that. Oh, he's following me. Oh, there's What's a, that thing? There's our uh, advanced toolkit that I promised. Mmm, is it worth picking up? It is. Yeah, it is. It's just crabs. It's just crabs, but remember, if you're surrounded by them, they can stunlock you. <laughs> Worth but what if I by. jump? Well, I mean, there is that. Could have jumped on the toolkit. That wasn't my goal. All right. Nice. Uh. Yeah. Just, just smack attack. Smack, smack, smack. There we go. We're good now. Grab that. They're not even that heavy, and they, they are actually worth quite a lot of money. Alright, we continue heading down. We've already gone down, like, as many strata in a few minutes as we did. Like, don't make, make no mistake, it's worth exploring these floors, but, like, also, Spiral Boar is just going to make things a lot easier for us. Maybe I'm just lazy. But sometimes I just don't feel like it, you know? That's... That's jerky. Mm. Crabs Fuck. and stairs and guns. Crabs and stairs and guns, oh my. Pigs and crabs and stairs and guns. And... Yeah. Oh, the game saved. 18 strata. Yeah. I'm on fire, and I guess... You're not on stairs? No. Head left? There's too much going on. I'm gonna go right and just... Alright. Beat up some crabs. What do you mean? Gonna... I don't know if it's worth wasting that on crabs. Like, definitely equip it. There's a... wait, wait, there's ancient bones over there. You're gonna where? just... Right in the center of where you want to throw the grenade. 
Uh, might, What's maybe that spray I'm, bottle? Maybe I'm wrong. Well, that's probably fix it. Could very. There's a small chance it could be uh, polymorphic. So we definitely want to pick it up, but I'm pretty sure it's fix it spray foam. Which is nice too. It's always good to have a, uh, some of that on hand. Yeah. If it had been um, poly gel, I, I would have. I would have. Gone. It's just a crab. It's just a crab. All right. I, I led you astray, but also. I have no regrets. That crab hates that wall. All right, we are two strata away from our goal here. All right, so here's a here's a kind of a preview of what's to come i love this floor it's just like all asphalt now it's quite the quite the scene we can we can just go down it's not it's the same as the other ones it's, there might be some good stuff here but it's kind of kind of ho-hum okay no we don't want to do that all right that sucks i was kind of hoping that the spiral bore would just kind of clear out the lava. Okay. So, uh, the good news is that the staircase leading down the normal one should, generally speaking, always be safe. <laughs> you know, all things considered. Now, this is why I had you take... Well, I didn't have you take jump. I wasn't expecting us to do this. But you can jump over the lava i don't think you can jump over creatures so you'd have to jump north control oh yeah all right i was just gonna kill him okay i don't know why we are on fire hoping we did not get covered in lava nope It's um, just it's just quite spicy down here. There you go. You did it. Oh, okay. We we lost Clank. I guess he just needs four. Alright. Uh um, you wanna clear out this floor and then we'll um we can recoil out. Yeah. So um Oh god, I'm a little bit worried about some of these guys dragging some lava over to you. Be careful not to like spam attack because you might accidentally walk in lava. You should be okay here. I really don't think you're in like major danger. Good stuff. Oh, I've looped, looped. What'd you do? Itchy skin back on myself. Oh no. All right, we'll have to deal with that. We can though. We've got the tools. The major, the thing that like I, I have, I've accidentally walked in lava exactly once, and the thing that really sucks about it isn't dying because you you can actually survive it for a couple of turns. It's that it melts all of your gear, so you can just like accidentally, you know, completely scrap all of your equipment. Um, I might say wait. I'm not like, itchy skinned anymore. You're not itchy skinned anymore. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure. Uh, look to your southeast and then like do a page up, page down a couple times. Okay. I think there's no lava there. I think you're okay to walk there or you could do even a jump. I can't do a jump. Okay. Well, then let's let's just chance it. It'll probably let you know. Yeah. The spores were kind of covering up a lot of the lava. Um, if you wait like a hundred turns, the spores will. Yeah. All right. We're good. So now um, I, I offer you an option. We could continue heading down. Um, things will get kind of interesting in about five strata. Or we can just recoil out and, um, you know, we we have succeeded our goal is it worth making thermal cells and filling them up while we're here yeah absolutely 
That is a great idea. Heck yeah. I don't know why I, I didn't think of that, to be honest. So we can, I honestly yeah, we would can make, make a few. Yeah, you could make like six of them. Let's let's make let's make six. It's a bit expensive. And this is why I prefer this method um, over some of the other methods is like, yeah, you are kind of make you're profiting off of this, but it's, it's not free. You are still using up some fairly valued bits. You can just collect. You don't have to you don't have to play the pouring game because it'll just it only collects in things that can collect it safely. Hmm. Right. There you go. All right. Um. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're good. Let's uh, recoil to Grit Gate because we're gonna complete the quest. And. Um, and then we can, uh, maybe between this and the next episode, we'll do a little bit of inventory management, but, um, we're heading into the very, we're heading into the late game officially. I mean, new late game. Uh, sure. Hope the game hasn't crashed. Okay. It's it was just thinking it. It it's, was... it's, there we go. Perfect. It was restocking inventory. That's what it was. Um, I think we'll have to talk to Barathrum, so you want to head down those stairs again. Otho is no longer the, like, specific quest giver. And you can use point of interest to just navigate the halls. Sorry, I pushed your plant. I think they moved around. Uh, convince Pax Clank. What welcome news, disciple. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. You got your first quantum moat. I guess so. Yeah, no, that's, that's for sure your first quantum moat. No, the, tell me what's next. The climber design relies on the use of electromagnetics to interfere with the planet's magnetic field and generate torque. Unfortunately, the spindle generates its own interfering field, perhaps as a mechanism to prevent unwanted ascension. Our aim is to access the spindle's control unit and disable the field. How we accomplish this, however, is an enigma. From disparate bits across the archives of the Digitum Erskigel has stitched together a cryptic but instructional brocade. He's to learn the field can be turned off from a place called Breitschial, located in the Thin World and accessible only through Reshef's tomb inside the Tomb of the Eaters. Dot, dot, dot. Jeez Louise. Strange this, and imprecise, but as tinkers we know, a crude blueprint is better than no blueprint. You must return to Om or and enter the Tomb of the Eaters once inside, trace the errant paths cut into the mausoleum by robbers and vandals, and ascend to Reshef's burial chamber. As for gating entrance to the tomb, Reshef sealed the gates a thousand years ago, but there's a flaw in the seal. The ancient mark of death has been lost to time, but if you were to recover it and incise the mark on your body, uh-oh, death gate would open for you as it did for countless eaters, eater cadavers in the long, blurred past. Recover the mark of death. Bavata man, enter the tomb and cross into Breitschiol. Place your paws once again on the dial and drum. You ask so much. <laughs> As I'd hoped you would, Bavata man, take this disc with a signal encoded just in case and take this tattoo gun. Oh, look at that. Look at but when that. you recover the mark of death, you'll want to bring a pickaxe too or some other instrument. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I've got just the one. For digging through stone and beware, the tomb is a vast and ancient space and sacred to many. I cannot speak to what you'll experience there. I heed your warning. Farewell, Baratham. Just like the entirety of Caves of Cud, except you're Kermit the Frog. Hi ho, Baratham. <laughs> Yay! All right. Great. Good. We've done it. 
You're you're there. You made it. Tomb of the Eaters. It's really happening. I never thought. They all said it couldn't be done. I never they said thought it wouldn't be done. That this series would would make it to the Tomb of the Eaters in a million years, honestly. Incredible work. Unfortunately, this is the last episode, so uh, <laughs> nah, nah. We'll get them. We'll get them eaters. We'll get them eaters. I want their face. I don't know what that means, but you told me not to Google it, and I did. So here we are. Here we are. All right. Um, we got stuff to sell. We got. Why don't we head back to Eat Freehold? All right. We could like check out um, the one scam seller here. What is it? Is it Neek or Asepa? I can never remember. Um, Barafuka does tech. All right. Talk they did it. just get new inventory, so let's let's go take a little. Oh, hello. They're right there. Ooh, uh, that's masterwork. Hey, there's the tread guard. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's that do for me? If you had tr treads for feet, then this would mm. offer protection against your uh, treads. You I, keep pushing the sled for feet, but I just no, I, I'm not pushing it. It's a, it's really, I'm just memeing on it. I've never done it myself, so the novelty calls to me somewhat. But um, nah, we're we're, we're okay. Space Inverter is quite nice, but it is also Tinkering 3. And I'm gonna get there, don't you? We could buy their bits, don't you worry. but I think we need four bits, not the bits, right? Mm, like these bits are not, yeah. not good enough. One's something. Pretty sure we need fours. We need a lot of things. We do need a lot of things. So we'll probably go we'll go to eat freehold, see their goods, see what they got. We've got plenty of um stuff to sell. Um and the next few episodes I I'm gonna kind of insist that we're like level thirty before we venture into Tomb of the Eaters. Um, which means we're very likely going to be um, ruin diving, which is something we've been meaning to do anyway. Um, we want to get some better um, batteries for our goods, maybe upgrade from the sniper rifle to like the light rail is a consideration that I think we might make. Um, and then, uh, I mean, slowly we want to increase our cybernetics license so that we can be fitted with the cathedral before we head into the tomb it's not like it'll be make or break but like if we have it we may as well make steps to to actually use it before venturing um for people at home i'm putting forward the idea that we actually swap out crystal hand bones because they take up eight license spot um license points and instead find ourselves a crystal cudgel because uh though i really love the crystal hand bones we probably can do the same with um so we're at license tier 15. that's actually quite nice and we have three credits apparently go ahead and uh -huh. upgrade your license so we can have we can be at 16. uh there might be someone at Eid that can sell us some credits there uh, might be also, if we went to Ezra, Ela might sell us some credits unless we already bought them. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of off-screen stuff. So, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.